Alright guys, what's up, it's Victor here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys everything you need to know about Doomfist before going into competitive with him. So first off, he has a hand cannon, meter strike is his ultimate, seismic slam, rising uppercut, rocket punch, and his passive. Seismic slam is probably one of the most important moves that he has in his arsenal, because it hits them, does about 75 to 50 damage, or 50 to 75 damage, and it also brings them closer to you. So you can do a lot of combos with that, you can seismic slam and then uppercut them and hit them in the middle of the air and they're pretty much defenseless the whole time if you do that that's probably one of his best combos in my opinion now also his passive every time you hit an ability doomfist gains shield so that doesn't include the hand cannon obviously but the ability so the rising uppercut the seismic slam and his uh rocket punch every time you hit one of these you gain a shield which means that doomfist can do a lot of damage and get a lot of shields from it so like I'm saying, if you're hitting your abilities constantly, you're going to have a lot of health. Well, for an attacker, you're going to have a lot of health, which is why Doomfist could be a pretty tanky hero. But one thing I do not recommend is when the round starts to try to, you know, use his movement to get across the map and then get a pick because you might die really fast and, you know, that won't really help your team. It might be tempting, but that's a tip that I can definitely give you that would probably help you in the future from not dying a lot and actually helping your team more often. So, I think Doomfist, one of his best things is his mobility. He's a really mobile character. You can get across the map really fast. And, um, yeah, he he's not very good with long ranges. Short to medium range is probably his best bet because he has a hand cannon as his um, primary fire, but it's also basically a shotgun so you can't really shoot too far with it but um you can do some damage his ultimate i it's okay to me i don't really you know think it's the best because um sometimes it doesn't really hit where you want it to and it's harder but just remember that if you hit them against the wall you can kill anybody with 250 health and less and with two doomfists hit each other they get stunned like that similar to what reinhardt's do and um you know, that's pretty much the gist of Doomfist and everything that he can really do. Uh, you know, try to just play him and pick up any combos that you really can because the combos that Doomfist can hit are pretty much his bread and butter. When it comes to uppercutting people and, you know, seismic slamming them, you just gotta really get used to him and, you know, more the more time you put on him, the better you'll get with him, obviously. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. And um, if you guys think anything about Doomfist, leave it in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Zerk's out.